7.5 Sure Tyler MK 7.5 Golf R Right now we have a 15 PSI base map from United Motorsports That's yeah. just to get things going Check ignition, check fueling, check octane, check boost um, So It's obviously hot in here today The humidity is probably at Yeah we're, it's hot It's hot, it's hot. So um, we're going to see what we can make for power But basically this car uh, got trailered four hours away from me. Um, has an A to B Motorsport uh, MPI setup on it. Has an RS3 low pressure pump on it. Has a Turbo Parts Canada uh, turbo on it. We'll see how that does. Um, we have, I installed um, APT's tuning uh, four bar combination for map sensor and a put sensor. I recommend a five bar because uh, four bars um, on this vehicle don't read vacuum. So since it doesn't read vacuum, the tuner kind of has to like guess where it's at. So the, the stumble can kind of be kind of like mm. lumpy. So if you do a five bar in the mat and a four bar in the put, then um, it's good. The car runs a lot better. Dan Classic, um, he, that white R that made 498 wheel, yeah. he knows huge difference with the five bar for drivability. But um, we did four bars on this car because that's what the kid supplied. Um, and then um, we have a flex kit right here. So um, the way I installed it makes it look very OEM. Basically, yeah, I even have the uh, OEM brackets from the manifold holding um, the bracket. So this looks very OEM. I installed it nice. I put the engine cover back on and won't even notice it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my phone and we're gonna take this picture and we are going to f send it to Jeff at, at UM Motorsports. And we're gonna tell him that's how the base map looked. Tell, I already sent the log to him, so he'll make a couple adjustments. He'll probably tell me to go from 15 to 20, relog it. Then we'll go from 20 to 25, relog it, and then we'll go to 29. And, and then, what's and what's your guess for power, wheel power? What do you think we'll be making? So it's really, really hot today. Like I know this car should, this car, I mean, it's gonna be under 500 and like close to 450 or under 450. Um, the last one, with the HPA turbo, made 420, I think Kevin's made, like 420 on the same setup. Um, EQT, it says EQT brushless pump, it's literally the same, <laughs> EQT just puts their name on it, so yeah. this is the RS3 brushless pump. Cool. Um, so, this car should make, um, you know, like 430 wheel, um, but Jeff's thinking that the Turbo Parts Canada uh, TPC turbo is a little bit bigger than the HPA's turbo, so maybe 450. But again, cool. it's like we're just dying here today. Yeah, it's hot. It's Thursday. It's probably it's like 95 plus right now. It's it's hot. I'm dying, so I'm gonna go have some Gatorade. Wait for Jeff to send me a base map um, for a 20 psi file, and then uh, we're gonna go pull the transmission out of this Mark Six. Jeff. Sweet. Let's do a montage. update so we're shut we're shutting traction control off we uh, just flashed the update on the 15 psi map so Jeff wants us to do a 15 psi pull then we're gonna up it to 22 psi do another pull send him the logs and then I'm gonna go get corn 85 and um, put that in the tank sweet and wait for him to update the file so right now as you can see we're running there's 93 octane in the car, but we're running a 91 file. Yep. Less knock, you know, ignition timing. Right now it's 15 PSI. So um, if we get our values, let's say 15 PSI. As you can see, um, alcohol percentage, anywhere from nine to 11 is stock. That's your 93 pump gas. 
So we'll be in the 50s and 60s once I had corn. Cool. So right now we're gonna go to uh, more functions. We're gonna go to data logging. We're gonna go to the customer's name. And then this is gonna basically pull up all of our logging um, for the engine. You know, engine cool. knock, um, fueling, timing, exhaust temperature, boost. I mean, this is everything to everything that you need to know when tuning a car, and that's gonna get sent over to UM. They're gonna see if we need any adjustments. We're gonna up it to 22 PSI. So right now we'll do a 15 PSI file for you, cool. which probably won't make a lot of power, but at least you'll get to hear the Yeah, we'll get to hear it, yeah. Sweet. numbers in a second so basically what we're going to do is that was the log right here i'm going to label it 15 psi log right yeah then i'm going to send it to them upload successful okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and it says more functions okay ecu adjustments fast vehicles customer's name okay right here get values we're going to take this 15 psi and we're going to go to 22 psi set values get values 22 psi then basically what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna relog it. So that pull, so 15 PSI got us 290, 260. Wheel. So now I'm gonna label that 15 PSI. Log, 290 wheel, and then I'm gonna take this right now to 22. Let's do it. so hot gotta get some airflow tell the there viewers bro tell the viewers how hot it's been guys it's hot so whatever this car is making even if it makes 480 wheel whatever it makes it's hot i mean just give the car literally the benefit of the doubt on how Quack. hot it is right like there's another car out there right now that everyone loves and that's wrecking stuff you know and we know probably what engine i'm talking about <laughs> and we we know what probably the car is what i'm talking about if you guys know these new um, Audis, you probably know exactly what car I'm talking about. And um, we're thinking about getting one for research and development and we're gonna team up with UM. And we are going to probably be doing a ProFlex development. It's gonna take some time, a few months, but if we get ProFlex on that car, like, uh, sure, the car could be tuned 93, the car could be tuned E60, drain everything out, switch maps. But if we can create a true sensor with a ProFlex, wired into the ECU, um, where you could just put ED5 in it, it flexes, goes, changes the map on the fly, 
um, and calculates for it and changes the ignition and the boost and the Dude, tables. Game changer. Then that car, you, we'll see. We'll see in a couple we'll of weeks if Turbo Hand shows up with the car. <laughs> it, it might not be possible right now, but it would be something that I would love to do. Right. Especially for the, the fans. You know, I'm working on one of my house right now. Um, we're doing a TTE 700 kit on it. And basically, um, with 93 octane on that car, it's going to be running like it's running uh, stage two on ethanol all the time. So if we turn that car up and do a ProFlex on it, you know, we're talking at least 800 wheel. It, it, it's nuts what flex can do. So Sweet. we'll see. And then, uh, you know, almost kind of the same ECU. So maybe we can work with your TTRS. Oh yeah, definitely. Give you some more power. But I just texted Jeff, this car is good. So we're gonna be downloading the, uh, the ProFlex map. Um, we're gonna start, basically, even though I just put E in the car, it's not registered, it's not going through the sensor yet. So we're gonna do a couple pulls. We're gonna get it flowing in the tank. We're gonna get it up to the engine, get it into the fuel rail. We should be blending around E50, E50, E55. Um, and you guys are gonna watch that graph go way up. Sweet. You know, this car is gonna feel really good. Obviously, I would choose a different turbo. I love the EQT Vortex XL. I know they're having some uh, problems with releasing the XXL. Maybe no need for it, who knows right now. But um, basically, all the supporting mods that I say on this car and the Vortex XL for MQB, you can read. I made, I made for it. You guys saw on the white R on yeah, Dan Classic's car yeah. from Rhode Island. I made 498 on that car. Right. After 450 wheel on this uh, platform, you know, we're any day we could get that phone call. Hey, man, my rod blew. Hey, man, my engine blew. After 450, it's a game. You know, even though we keep the torque low, we taper the curve. Even if we keep the torque low, it's still like, you know, yeah, we, you don't know power. what you're doing. You're asking a four cylinder to make 500 wheel. Like that's right. more than a hundred per cylinder, you know? Right. And then we got uh, B Money Brett running um, another tuner that I don't want to mention. We got Brett trying to make 700 wheel with a four cylinder. Right. And if he does it, all power to him because I hand built that engine. Um, and it, it would be my name on it and I would love it, you know, for him to make that kind of power. Right now he's at like 625 wheel, which is still crazy, it's but his power. engine's fully built. We O-ring, copper O-ring the cylinder head, basically put more pressure on that head gasket. Uh, Brett has literally probably 40K into his motor build. He has everything you could want. And uh, that car is coming in on, it's not a flex car because he's doing a, another tuner. So it's not UM. Um, but that car is going to be coming from ethanol content of 10, just regular pump gas. He's going to be coming in on E60, E70, and he's going to be doing runs. So we're going to see how much power he's making. Um, and we're going to see if he blows his engine anytime soon. <laughs> but, I mean, he's down to push that platform. He's trying right. to be the world record's fastest A3, you know. So we'll see what happens. Sweet. I love the MQB platform, you know. Well, Even though I don't have one, I push the limits on everyone else's, but people love it. Yeah. Well, let's see what this R can do. My cousin Joey's got a donut shirt on. Meanwhile. Mm. Mm. All right, Nick. What do we make? She's all done. I want. What do I want? What did I say I wanted? 450 wheel, right? Yeah, you want a 450 wheel. All right, wheel. so um, we could go up to E60 blend. Right now, with the gas that we're running, there was a little bit too much pump gas in the car. So with the pump gas that was in the car on the ed5 that we put in we're at an e45 right now so e45 we go up to like e60 e65 um we're gonna leave the power level where it is right now because the 450 was kind of out of the question let me show you where we're at yeah let's look at the graph we're at 500 wheel 500 wheel baby so down here oh you basically we down have here, turbo parts canada turbo fueling MPI, United Motorsports Pro Flex. So what I mean by, I, I label it like that, but what I mean by it is we have basically a bigger turbo in stock. Fueling, what I mean by that is we have a low pressure pump from an Audi RS3. So we took a, a Audi, an Audi RS3 fuel pump and we put it inside a Golf R. Then we have multi-port injection added to the intake okay. manifold with 925 cc injectors on top of another Ford direct injectors cool. direct injection injectors 
Um, and then we have obviously full bolt on, you know, yeah. you know, the up off, the intake, the intercooler, the turbo back exhaust. Cool. Um, and then the most important is um, the tune, you know, from United yeah. Motorsports with the ProFlex. So basically, you don't have to know what you're doing. You just go into the gas station and you have 85 or you have 93 and the car adjusts the tune for you. No one can do that except United Motorsports. Sweet. Yeah, let's check it out. Looks completely stock. Looks completely stock. When we'll I put the engine on cover on it, it's all, uh, Sweet. it's all stock. Yo, you, know? you want to show the viewers what we got out front? Well, it's just research and development. Let's show the viewers what we got out front. Really? Yeah. I think it's show. too soon. Because you know why? We got some competition coming up. Bryce said something about a car that he's getting that he wants to race the car that you got. I'm a oh, I know. But I think it's too soon. No, let's let's just give him a quick little sneak peek on what it is. All right. I said to the viewers yesterday, maybe it would happen. Yeah, but I think maybe. it's happening. Maybe. And Bryce, I don't know if Bryce is ready for it. <laughs> Where is it? Right here. Oh, Sheesh. So, Nick, as the viewers know, I have a TTRS. And this is an RS3. I know, but. They share the same motor. The viewers, like, the viewers know that. The viewers know that you're a pansy and you leave all your stuff stock. It's right? not stock. We're stage two, we're baby. We're stage two. The viewers already know what I'm about. We're making 500 horsepower on a four cylinder Golf R. What are we going to make on this? Wow. Buy a car, brand new, unmodded. You don't buy somebody else's build. That's I'm gonna it. build it myself. Full thing. And I'm gonna make the power myself, and I'm gonna go to the track myself, and that's it. This is gonna be fun. And we're going to develop ProFlex, which nobody in the world can do, or has done yet. We're doing but it. But we're gonna be the first collab between Turbo Hand ACI United Motorsports. Yep. Um, I'm going to be working with Jeff very closely on this, and we're going to develop. Right now, you get Unitronics. You could get a, a sensor, right. and you can measure your ethanol content. And you, UM even has a tune for E85. The problem is you have to drain your tank. Make sure you're running E85. Make sure you're running 93. We are going to develop personally. Proflex. Go to the pump. Whether you have a half tank of 93. You fill it up with E85, and it's a true ProFlex car. Um, so you're gonna have your sensor there. Um, the harness is going to tie into, um, it's gonna be a plug and play connector down in here um, that's gonna tie into the engine's harness. Um, and, and we'll show you. Basically, um, I bought this car, has 2,000 miles on it. Um, it's brand new. I mean, 2,000 miles, it is. everything's super stock. clean. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the dyno. We're going to see what it makes stock baseline. We're going to save that number and we're just going to keep going up. Um, More to come. Yeah, I mean. Stay tuned. We're going to. It was enough. I, you know, my hand is. Everyone already knows I kill the MQB game. Now it's time to show them what's up with the Daza. Daza power, baby.